Hi, my name is Ulubim Sonla, on Love and the Purpose Midwife. Happy New Year again, and thanks for joining me on this seven-day intentional start challenge for 2021. You know, we started this of yesterday, and today is day two. If you haven't watched it, you can still watch it. I have it on my YouTube channel. I have it on here on my IGTV. You can watch it. I have it on my Intentional Women of Purpose Facebook group. So many places to watch it. And some people are getting it as an email. So today is, what's, what's today's word? Today is be intentional about having hope to start again. You know, the year we just came out of, year 2020, was a very tough year for a lot of people. In 2020, a lot of people lost hope. A lot of people lost their joy. A lot of people lost their peace. A lot of people lost resources. People lost relatives. People lost, some people lost even the will to live. People lost a lot. But I want to say to you, as you're starting a new year, the start of a new year is always the start of, it always signifies freshness. It signifies newness. It signifies new beginnings. And so this is like an opportunity to start on a fresh slate. It's an opportunity to start again, to bring out those dreams that you put on the back burner and begin to believe again. You know, I looked up that word hope. We're talking about having hope. To start again and that word hope means something it means a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen a feeling of expectation and a desire for a certain thing to happen and so my thing to you is in 2021 your to do would be what are you expecting to happen this year you know i'm a believer and so i often look at things from the word of god i know there's a verse in the bible Romans 5, 5 that says, And hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Which means that when you have hope in God that things are going to turn around, as you desire it, as you expect it, guess what happens? Things begin to turn around. And so my thing to me today is, what are you going to hope in God for this year, 2021? In this new year, what are your hopes for? What are your expectations? What are those things that you put away you said, oh, not again. Oh, I lost that in 2020. It's a new year to begin to birth new dreams. It's a new year to begin to birth new hopes. It's a new year to begin to birth new desires. It's, it's, it's a new year to begin to receive the things that you thought were lost in your heart you know to begin to think about them and begin to birth you know new ways of doing things new innovations new creativity if you just expect it if you believe it if you believe that god loves you so much and he wants the best for you you can hope again you can birth new dreams you can dream again you can live again no matter what has been lost so that's our to do this today is Go and write down those things that you're expecting God for in 2021. Those things that you are that you have hopes for. What are your hopes? What are the things that you have hope for? What are you going to be hopeful for in 2021? What are you, what are you going to be expecting in 2021? Write them down if you haven't written them before and begin to look at them and begin to speak over them and begin to believe them. And trust me, I know even from, from my life that. Uh, your expectation will not be cut short. Your expectation, when you expect something, God has a way of bringing it to pass if you just believe that it's possible. With God, all things are possible. You can believe again and hope again. This is uh, this is day two of our seven-day challenge. My name is William Solala. My name is Papa Zimwe, signing out. And I will see you again tomorrow. Have an awesome, beautiful day. God bless you.